Pastor's out on his deck by his grill because we have been blessed with some excellent weather here in Wisconsin. And it is time to get the grill out and have some wonderful meals. Now, I want you to pretend that you have a big event coming up. What kind of meat are you going to use? You're just going to go and get the cheapest thing possible, or are you going to look for the best? Let's talk about that a little bit as we hear these words from the book of Genesis. From Genesis chapter 7, verses 1 through 5, and then chapter 8, verse 20. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate, and also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Then, after the flood, Noah built an altar to the Lord, and taking some of all the clean animals and clean birds, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. Can you imagine being Noah and his family in that ark for so long? It wasn't just 40 days and 40 nights of rain. Then they had to wait for everything to dissipate and then the earth to get to the point where they could actually go out and, if you will, start things over. What a great reason to give thanks. God had done a cleansing of the earth. Now, it was very interesting that Noah is supposed to take not only clean animals, but unclean along. But then when it comes to the point for a sacrifice to God, what does he use? The clean animals, not the unclean. He offers his best, if you will. And so those clean animals, those clean birds, offered as a sacrifice, they are put to death to say thank you. You know, our Lord Jesus is the only one who ever lived on this earth who was perfectly without sin. True God became true man, born of the virgin, lived the perfect life. And then what did he do? He died. Why? As a sacrifice offering himself as a sacrifice to cover the guilt of our sin. Something perfectly clean, the best that could possibly be offered, was offered. Why? To cover the guilt of our sin, so we can do what? Celebrate and say thank you. What a wondrous God who does not just offer anything, but offered his very best to his son, so we can have the very best. Life with him now, and forever in heaven. In perfect love he dies. For me, he dies for me. O oh, all atoning sacrifice, I cling by faith to thee. Amen.